Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you because it, um, we are here for another Dawn and Julia Creates. So if you remember our last one, we did um, the Steampunk Owls, which Julia absolutely rocked. How gorgeous was her owl? You just wanted to give her a big hug and just oh, take it home with you. I wanted to take it home. Um, but I have my own, he's he's up on the wall, so I have actually popped him up on my wall, which I said I was going to put a picture up, but I didn't, um, so there it is, I don't know if you can see, but it's up on the wall with a few other pieces that I've made, so I'm so, so proud of him. So this week I did message said, can we do another uh, another mixed media project because I really enjoy doing the owl. So we are, so this time is my turn to choose. So I have decided, Julia did a live on her um, Facebook page and she used these caravans. Now she used the biggest of the caravans and they're just absolutely adorable. So they are in her shop um, and they're by Mad Hatters. So you get two this size, you get a large one, you get one of them and you get three, uh, no, four smaller ones. £3.50, honestly, absolute bargain. So... Um, our plan was to use that and then she also has these which are from the Curious Wonders collection so they come in a pack of nine so you get three of these, three of these and three of these for three ninety nine. absolutely gorgeous. So my plan is, um, the, well the plan is, you can either do a canvas or you can do a book cover, whichever you want. Um, I love doing book covers but I think people get sick of me saying I want to do a book cover but, um, but I have this, I think it's my last one actually I might have one more I think I've got um, a six by six one a journal cover that I really want to cover um, and I just thought these would look amazing so my plan is to sort of decorate this up with the caravan um, I think I'm going to end up cutting down here though um, and half in that so we've got the mushroom somewhere else so let's do that while I'm thinking on um, don't be afraid to cut into your MDF pieces. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I could have done with um, my husband's saw. He has a saw. Well, he's actually decorated at the minute. Um, and I'm wondering if he's got his saw out so he can come and do it for me. Well, I really, I shouldn't pester him, should I? Now, it doesn't have to be perfect to this, so that is a bonus. Okay, so I'm just going to take that out as well. Excellent. And on hand, I have a file. Now, this is actually, I use this a file in my silversmithing um, when I make jewellery and things. Um, but recently, I've been using it to do my nails because I keep meaning to buy myself a pack of files from the shop. And I still haven't done it, so the, I ended up taking this out and, and I use it on my nails, which is not a good idea. Well, it's just to get the, the top layer off so then I can soak them and, and change my, my varnish. But yeah, um, don't recommend it. So, um, but it is coming in and handy for this. So I'm going to just get all of that so it's nice. Because what I'm thinking is I love this mushroom. Um, oh, I do, do you know what? I don't want these on though. But I do want them on the piece itself. So let's cut them off. Because they're just going to be in the way of what I'm wanting to do. So let's file that off. Now... As well as these pieces, um, so the idea is we either make a book cover or we do a canvas. Um, the other thing to do, uh, the other things that we're allowed is we're allowed three colours of either paints or inks. We can't have both, so we have to either use um, our paints or our inks. So I thought that would be interesting to see what we go for. I think I'm going to go with my inks today. Um, and then we're allowed our black pen. Um, we're allowed our gesso, um, we're also, um, we're allowed one embellishment, now that embellishment can be anything and we're allowed as many of those embellishments as we want in different colours that we want if we want them. I'm hoping Julia knows that, I think she will. I did say one embellishment and then as many of those embellishments as you want put, um, so that could be gems, flowers, anything really that you want to add. I'm just thinking maybe gems for this. Um, and then what else? 
um, I think that's it actually. Oh, and our Tim Holtz words as well. So if we want to put a title on, we can. I know that I'm terrible. I like to have my titles on. So what I'm thinking actually is, I'm thinking taking this side off as well. So I am completely destroying it. But like I said, don't be scared to do this because we are going to use these pieces in something else, like somewhere else on this. But I just think, come on, oh, this is really hard on my hands. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So let's file that. Um, yeah, so don't be scared to cut into them. They are tough. I mean, ideally, we could do with a hacksaw. Um, to do but you know nothing a little bit of sanding won't um, do and you can just use a normal regular nail file to sand these which also makes it really good let's take those bits off. so what I'm thinking is I like that but I'm, I'm liking that as if it was a tree so we sort of have it just behind there so that will be stood up there um, so I do let me just grab some cardboard for a minute because what I'm thinking is let's raise it up so that we can put all of our pieces on I am going to paint them all with gesso and I'm going to paint them with white gesso um, so that there, that's better and then we can see where we are at um, yeah I want to paint everything with white gesso and then I'm going to use my inks I haven't decided on the colours yet oh, I'm liking that so I'm liking that there and then we do have this piece here, which I don't know whether to have, oh that fit, that goes better there, but I'm quite liking the idea of maybe having that sort of on there, maybe. We do have our wheel. I want the star of the show to be the caravan. And I'm going to use this journal. We're actually going on holiday this year. So this journal is going to be coming with me. Um, oh, I'm liking that. Um, and it will be where I write all everything that we do. And any if we go visiting anywhere, the ticket stubs will go in there. Um, so, yeah, it literally is like where I keep everything. Or where I will be keeping everything. Let's move that a second. Because I'm actually thinking, having that there, I want to take that off. Um, oh, it's that side that's got it. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my journal. I have a journal. I've t I always take a journal with me on holiday. And then I sit and fill it in every night. And then when I get home, I print off my photos and put my photos in. And oh, it's just lovely. So I thought this would be an extra special one. Um, to go for that so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm not going anywhere special um, but it is special to me because I will be with my family and that is what I am wanting more than anything so what I'm thinking is bring this down move this over um, having those there actually bringing the caravan down a bit more so just like that actually I'm liking that and then we do I want this signpost um, now see I'm very tempted very tempted to break it oh actually what about there so it's just behind the caravan I like that and then we do have these these bits as well which I think I still want to have come out because they just look really funky. Um, so something like that. So that's what I'm thinking. Let's put the, the little window on. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. Something like that. If that not actually, I'm going to swap. I'm going to put this here. So everything's going to need to move over just a little. Actually, I'm going to have that there. Move that a second. Because I'm thinking this might look better there. And then I'm going to have my bits of grass at the bottom. Take that one away a second. And that's just going to sit there. Because it will be covered at the bottom. Um, that can go there. And then I'm going to have that bit of grass just there. Then we have these 
random little bits coming out here and then I'm thinking that this either just under there somewhere around here I think that would look cool um, yeah not sure yet so something like that that's what we're going to go with but before we do that what I need to do is I actually need to bring in my gesso so I'm going to go with my white gesso um, oh we're allowed a stencil as well so yeah I've just remembered we're allowed a stencil so I'm just going to come in with my white gesso and I'm going to prime all of my um, MDF. You don't actually have to prime your MDF because you can just paint straight on top but I'm wanting a very true colour which is why I've opted for it. Um, so yeah I'm going to do that. So what I'll do is I'm going to prime all of this off camera because I don't think you need to see me paint everything white and then um, I will I need to decide what colours I'm going to go for so yeah once we've painted it all white um, I'll then come in and we'll have a look to see what colours we're going to go for but how gorgeous is this going to be it's just going to be so fun and then all I need to do is once I've finished it is um, I'll just make my inserts and it is ready to go on holiday with me so it's about I think it's about 12 weeks before we go away so it's, it's still quite a while but um, I'm still looking forward to it and we are staying in the, the UK so it's going to be awesome and my eldest daughter's coming as well which is even better because she doesn't live at home anymore so she she lives um, about an hour away so yeah I'm excited really excited it's been a while since we all went on holiday together so yeah I can't wait and I just want to record the whole thing so I'm going to right okay so um let's yeah right so let's um paint the rest of it white and then once i've done everything white, i'll be back okay so i'm all back uh, everything has been prepped these are the colors i'm going to go for so i'm going to actually attempt to do what our jewelry does and mix some of my own colors but um i wanted to use the oxides because they're more of an opaque um whereas my inks are more um transparent so I've gone with the oxides but these are the closest I've got to our primary colours so I'm going to see how it goes hopefully it won't be too bad we're also allowed a stencil now I'm struggling as to which stencil I want to use um, because part of me wants to use the cloud one because I think it'll it'll give it a nice background but then another part of me um, wants to use a circle one um, I don't know but I suppose we've got quite a few elements on there instead of just circles so like, let's just go with it let's see how it goes so I'm only going to do the front um, today I'm going to leave the back um, because I think I might just um, add some paper when I fill this up so the first thing I'm going to do is going to grab um, I'm going to grab my blending brushes now I need to make sure I get the right ones so we need there's my blue there's my red and I need my yellow. If I can find my yellow, there you are. And my yellow. So <coughs> I'm going to start off with the blue, and I'm going to start off by um, going straight on to my background uh, like this. And this is just to create our sky. Now I do. We have got our gesso. So um, the good thing about that is that. Um, I can then st uh, stipple some clouds on into the background so it's all good um, so we're just go I'm just going in um, and I am adding it quite dark because uh, I want this to be quite bright so and then let's bring that up I mean, doesn't that just look really nice I think it looks gorgeous Okay, so I'm going to go there, okay, and then working along, so like so, so we're bringing in those different clouds, and just where the white space is, I'm going to make sure to add in, um, yeah, 
add in some of this colour just to um, make it blend. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? That just looks fab as a background. So I'm just going to go down to this point um, because I want to start adding in some green and what I'm thinking to do let's grab my green brush I don't know if this is going to work so it is going to be but I'm going to put some of that on there and I'm going to put some of that on there um, I'm going to grab my green and mix these two together like so yes that looks good and then using the same stencil we're going to have hills and then I'm going to bring in that green just like that so we are yay that has worked how cool is that so I'm going to get different tones of green because I'm only mixing a little bit at a time but that's the beauty of it isn't it so yeah oh I'm so happy so happy as I've been thinking how on earth am I going to get all the colours that I want um, yeah and then I've left it like a day just to try and work out what I was going to do and yeah I have to say I'm pretty pretty happy with myself so I'm going to finish this off down here and like I say it will have different tones in it um, because we are mixing as we go and I think that's the beauty about it isn't it so and then I'm just going to go around and bring in some more of that green good morning my husband is awake <laughs> um, just like so so that gives us our base so I think that's actually quite cool but before I start adding anything else on what I want to do is I just want to bring in my white I'm just going to just use my finger actually I'd like to add some of the white clouds in so using my finger I'm just going to dab it on I mean the colour is going to leak um, through but that I'm quite happy for that um, yeah, I just thought this might look good as a cloud. Yay! And I'm going to have one there. So again, let's grab some of my white gesso. And I just want that on this middle cloud. So all the way around. Like so. like that oh I do I like that I just want a bit more white on here so let's grab some more and just do it well I'm liking the fact that my fingers giving that sort of cotton wool feeling so oh, love love we do have our dangles as well well I'm very tempted to use the dangles down at the bottom here um, for some grass or something right I will be back in a second okay so I'm back right um I was just talking with my hubby um so all I've done I've just covered the spine just so that it blends in nicely um so that's how it's going to look so now what I want to do um actually I'm going to move this out of the way and let's bring in our little caravan so I think I want to um oh what's the word decorate this up first so I've got these out um I think where's my purple one because I'm thinking that it would be nice I'm hoping we get a nice purple with the red so and the blue I'm hoping anyway um like I say I'm not sure on how the colors are going to work but um, we can only try I just want it to look oh actually that looks really really nice so I'm gonna just do that um, I pick this challenge I think because um, I'm not very good with colour theory and the fact that we're only allowed three colours um, sort of I'm hoping helps me know how to mix my colours a bit better so that's why I sort of done it because I think it's quite nice to learn 
how to put your colours together. Our Julie is amazing at it. And look at that, how cool does that look? So we have a little purple caravan. Right, I want to bring some of that blue in. Um, I'm just going to put it on the door and on the window. Okay, now I am going to bring in some water for this. Um, that's my yellow. And then I'm just going to, yeah, just add some bits of colour on really. Just to, to sort of help bring it all in. So I'm going to bring in this. Now, I definitely want to bring some of my red in. So what I'm going to do is just come in there right now. I'm going to grab a paintbrush. So let me just grab one. Um, I just need some water. Okay. So. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we are just going to paint this on in areas just to fill in all of that colour. I don't mind if it mixes. Um, it just adds to it. But actually I'm really liking that. I'm loving that purple colour. Um, okay. I'm wanting to actually bring in some of that, do some of that purple but I'm going to add some white to it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of white okay and then we're going to grab some of that blue and bring that in and then a little bit of that red don't know what happens if I put a bit of yellow in oh it's got like a grey colour yeah, a little bit more red so I'm just playing with my colours now and just seeing what I can sort of come up with um, I think I need a little bit more blue. So that's my blue. Okay. There. That's nice. I like that. It gives us a more of a pastel colour. Okay. Make sure that's well mixed. And that's like a nice pastel purple colour. So but it, actually it's like a, a grey colour, I quite like that. So I'm not going to do it on all of it, I'm just going to do it on some bits. Um, for if I, to create a shadow I think. That's going to go in there, just because I think it goes perfect with that. So it darkens that yellow up. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go around. Like you say, oh, the dogs are off. Um, I'm just going to do it so we've got our shadow areas. I'm hoping I'm in camera, yeah. Um, and there they go. Right, what I'm going to do is colour these up and we'll put them on speed up. So, yeah, enjoy the next bit.
Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Doesn't this look absolutely fab? It looks so cheerful and so, oh yeah, it just, I'm really loving it. Um, what I do want to do though is I want to bring some of this yellow in just up at the top here um, as if it was a sun. So that's what I'm doing. Um, just because I feel like it needs something in that corner. Before I stick all of this down though, I actually want to come in, um, and it's not something I usually do, I know I do it, does it? But it's not something I usually do, but I want to come in and I want to add some black detail um, around the pieces because I think it would help them a lot. Um, so, and we're just going to do some doodling because we are allowed our black pen. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I think it's nice to add a bit of doodling because now that really stands out. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do sort of different to all of them. Um, and don't be afraid to doodle. I think doodling is one of the best things ever. Um, and the thing is, is if like if you turn around, like if it turns around that you don't actually like it, then you can just paint over it again so that's how I see it okay so that's what I'm thinking for there yeah like that right and so just having a doodly border because like I say I we haven't got black ink if I had black ink I would have gone around the edges with my black ink but we don't so um, I should really think about these things when I set the challenges. I just know I should. Um, we are allowed our black pen though, which means I can colour this bit in. So I've been trying to get the wheels right and yeah, I just haven't been able to do it. So yeah, so I'm just going to go around the door like so. And then I'm going to go around the window. There's just something about a black line, isn't there? That always just makes it something just pop. And do you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to edge everything, you know. So I probably am going a bit overboard. But you know what? I'm having fun. And isn't that what it's all about? Is having fun? Because that's what I think it is. Oh, look at that. So I'm just going over the details that were engraved within the caravan, but I'm just doing it with my black pen. I am actually using quite a thick black pen because um, it is quite cartoony, I want to say. Um, I'm really pleased with my colouring in though. I mean, how gorgeous does that look now? Um, I wasn't expecting my colouring in to be as nice as this, but yeah. Um, so I think I've definitely... I'm definitely getting there when it comes to my um, my colouring in, just using limited colours and mixing colours. And like I said, that's one of the reasons why I set this a challenge, um, is because of the fact that I am not very good with mixing my colours. Julia is amazing. I have learned a lot from her over the, um, the last few years um, by watching her channel and watching her mix. Um, colours so yeah um, it's really nice to see that watching her channel and seeing her mix and going through colour theory and stuff it is slowly starting to to pay off I'm a very slow learner um, and a lot of my learning is done by watching um, no I can't read very well so reading is out of the question so it's pointless giving me like a book to tell me the colour theory because it just won't sink in um, so I'm very hands-on, so um, I learn a lot by doing um, and I learn a lot by watching other people. So um, yeah, I have to say that Julia has definitely helped in how I um, started mixing my colours. So I feel like I have accomplished something today. So um, my, if you're not comfortable with um, doing the same, so if you're not comfortable with mixing your own colours I highly suggest you give it a go because of the fact that you know um I'm not but I'm I've learnt stuff um I've learnt a lot of stuff I've learnt how to make a grey which is really cool so yeah um 
and I've learned that I need to have a better yellow <laughs> um, if I want pastel I know they need to be pastel colours um, but yeah I'm, I'm pleased I'm really really pleased oh, I'm loving these absolutely loving them they're gorgeous so that black detail really is just making this whole piece pop um, I want to add in a little border as well so I mean look at that now how how awesome does that look wow this is definitely my new um, journal for my holiday I just think it is absolutely perfect so that's why um, I sort of gave Julia the choice of a canvas or a book cover because I knew that I wanted to do a book cover um, I wanted to create a book for my holiday I do it every year um, well we didn't go away last year but I don't think anyone went away last year um, yeah I have I like to, to make myself a book to go away with so so yeah right what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just actually gonna use my book standard glue and um, so my Nouveau glue for this because it is wood um, and this adheres quite nicely so, so yeah um, so we're just gonna do that instead of grabbing my gel medium um, this has got a better nozzle on it for me to to work with so and I'm gonna stick all of these on and we are allowed our Tim Holtz words so I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz words in a moment um, and it's definitely got to have something to do with holiday on it hasn't it but I can't believe the difference that black pen has brought to it and I can't believe how bright it is as well I was, I was expecting um, it to come out quite muddy and murky and yeah now if you want to see proper colouring in go over and check out our Julia wow you know fine well that she is going to smash this challenge absolutely lord she is fantastic at stuff like this so um like I said I'm not the best um but I am slowly learning and the fact that you know we ke I keep challenging myself is a good thing because it just goes to show how far um we have come and I think I've come a long way um definitely Oh, that is so cute. I just love that caravan. It is very cartoony and I'm just loving the fact that it is very cartoony as well. I just think it looks so cool. Now we are allowed to bring in an embellishment. Um, however, I don't know if I want to. Um, I do have my gems. I think, oh, I've just realised I've missed this off. Oh. So silly. Um, where are we going to put it? I feel like I want to cut that heart off. I don't want that heart at the bottom. Oops. Yeah. And I'm going to stick that in there. But first of all, let's add some. Right. Cover that up. Let's add some doodles. So I'm just going to do that. The way around. Okay, um, just so that it ties it in with our piece. There we go. And then that can then stick on there. Oh yeah, like that. Um, yeah, definitely there. Okay. I'm loving it. Oh wow, I d had no idea how this was going to turn out when I started, um, but I have to say I love it, I love it. Oh that is so so cute, how cool is that, that is amazing. Right let's have a look, I am really, I just want to see Julia's now um, and I know I can't. Oh I've got to wait until you guys see it as well. Right okay so let's have, oh explore, dream, discover, thing. travel definitely um explore definitely and the journey is a destination those are my stickers I always have to add them in threes I've never been able to not okay I, I am going to stick these down better oh I love I love I love I love I love oh see doesn't that just bring it together even more so I'm just going to grab my glue because 
um, I want these to stay permanently adhered and I just don't trust them probably would be fine but you just don't know do you okay and then that one in there like so I love that bit of yellow up there I think that's gorgeous and let's stick this one down like that oh Oh, do you know what else? Oh, I think it'll be adding too much. I was going to say, let's add some dangles. But I just think that might be a bit too much on it, so I'm not going to. Right, one more embellishment so we can add as much as we want. So I think it is going to have to be my gems. Okay, let's see what gems we've got in here that will look nice. Um, I've got big ones and little ones and in between ones. Oh. Actually, I do you know what? I'm going to have a gem there because I think that looked nice. Um, I think. Oh, guys, I don't know what I want to do. Um, just sort of. I don't think I want anything really on it. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I've got a little red heart. So maybe that in there. Okay. Right, yep, I'm liking that. Um what else do we have? I've got this teardrop shape, but again I don't think I mean we could have like yeah, I suppose. No, I don't like it. Don't like it. Hmm. Let's see what else we have in here. We do have a blue. No, I'm not feeling it. Um, do you know what? I really don't know. Get rid of that a second. What about a nice big silver one? No, I like the purple. I do. Right, okay. Right. I need one more. I need something else. Just that one more thing. Oh, there. That one's a better one, isn't it? Um, I do have another heart here. Mm, no. And I do have in my gems, I've got some of these flowers, but they're in black. No, again, no, not feeling it. I think those three. I'm just going to pop that on there. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at it for any more because I just don't want to spoil it and I think if I just add them for the sake of adding them I think I'm going to spoil it and I'm liking just those three pieces so what you got? <gasps> it's so gorgeous so there you go guys right let me just pop my gems away my gem thing broke it snapped so I'm gonna have to order another one I'm not happy I'm gonna see how long I can get out of that one first um but yeah I came down and it was snapped off I think um I've used it too much <laughs> um but yeah oh, look at this this is from I was doing a how many cards the other day and I printed out well not printed out I stamped out lots and lots of sentiments but I think I did way too much so um I forgot I put them in the lid of my gems okay so no no how would you put the gems on we're only allowed one embellishment guys just the one so there you go that is my book cover for Don and Julia creates super super excited to see how our Julia has done um sorry that it, I'm gonna lay it flat um sorry that we ended up with um the dogs halfway through they are absolute nightmares um I think on the back I'm just gonna do the sky and the um the green bit at the bottom so basically just just what you've seen just so that it, it ties in but how cute is that isn't that just so cute that is just making me want to go on holiday really really is oh i love it i love it so um yeah do pop over and see what our lovely julia has done because you know fine well that she's going to be amazing 
um, and you know that she's going to absolutely smash this challenge. She always does. Um, and I will see you again in another video. And yeah, until then, everyone, please do take care and happy crafting. Bye.